There are a lot of beautiful places within this world. Let's take Brazil for example. Brazil has Rio de Janeiro, the beautiful Cristo de Redentor or Christ the Redeemer, and the gorgeous Copacabana Beach. Brazil is also known for having the best football team in America, ranking third overall in the FIFA rankings. Now, you may want to visit Salvador, known for its Afro-Brazilian culture, or maybe even Brasilia, for its modern architecture in Brazil's capital. Or maybe you'd like to take a trip to Florianopolis, known for its beaches and its surfing. Now, where there's nice things in this world, Sometimes, we must face the bad. We're going on a journey to two Brazilian prisons. Yes guys, we are of course back with another video. Today guys, I'm taking you on a trip to the prisons of Brazil. Now there are two videos that I saw the other day, both quite graphic, almost Funky Town Gore style, and today I'm going to quickly explain those videos to you and try and find a story behind them. Now just a fair warning before this video starts, it will include very graphic descriptions of injuries and torture. Now I've got to say that these two videos probably had more of an effect on me than they did Funky Town Go. Not because of the content, but again, because of the sounds. Now if you remember in the Funky Town Go video, I said that the guy, the guy's sounds that he was making were like gurgling sounds. Whereas in these two videos I'm about to explain, the sounds are a lot more out there like the dudes are literally screaming and it is it's it's absolutely horrible it's disgusting to hear and it's you can hear everything basically so without further ado let me take you to the first video now as i mentioned both these videos are filmed in brazilian prisons the first one basically starts off and there's a guy inside one of the cells or in a cage and it zooms into him his arm is outside one of the cages and there's a guy with a huge wooden stick it's like a like a somewhat from a pallet um, a wooden pallet so this guy's got his arm out of the cage and the guy with the wooden plank proceeds to hit his arm hard several times until you hear a crack and at that point you know yeah it's broken and that's not all they proceed to the guy proceeds to fall on the floor and they proceed to break his other arm now obviously by this point the guy's in so much pain that he is screaming he's rolling about on the floor and again that's not all what happens next truly made me feel sick so you've got about three guys surrounding him and two of them come to each side of him and you think oh they're going to do a bit more but you know they might break a leg they might break both legs they might i don't know kill him i don't know but what happens is these two guys come to each side of him and it's a this is the really brutal part this guy's arm is obviously broken, so his arms, there's a couple of bones protruding from each arm. What these guys do is they each grab an arm and they proceed to wiggle his arm, hard wiggle his arms in front of him so he ends up looking like that, except one half of his arm is, this half of his arm up to there is wiggling one way and the the elbow and above is wiggling the other way. Now, this makes the guy look like some fucking wobbly man that you see on the side of a petrol station or a convenience store. You know them 
wobbly guys that are all like that and doing all that kind of stuff. Yeah, his arms look like one of those. And like I say, all throughout the video, you can just hear screaming, crying, of course, and his arms making really weird noises that the human arm should not make. Now, of course, when the let let go of his arms, he falls to the floor and there's just blood all over the floor. Now, for a video that's just over a minute and a half long, it is truly horrifying and truly brutal, to be, to be honest. But this is just a, a small look at what does go on in, you know, your Brazilian, your Mexican and Venezuelan, uh, Venezuelan, did yeah, I need to say that right? Uh, Venezuelan prisons. It's just a small look at what happens in these places or some of these places. So now I'm going to take you guys through the second video, which is a similar video, but with a guy's legs instead. Now, unlike the first video, this guy is already on the floor surrounded by a group of about five men. Uh, but instead of using a wooden stick to make the initial break on the bone, they actually use a machete. Now, of course, when this guy is hit with the machete, his leg is split open, which provides easy access to the bone. And you can see the bone, um, in which basically the same thing that happened in the first one happens here. So, two guys basically come around each side of the dude near his feet and they each proceed to grab a leg and what happens is they start obviously once this guy's macheted both of his legs and the bone is visible they both move around to each leg and grab a leg and start twisting it, turning it and basically making the leg look basically inhuman like they twist this leg around so much that it's basically it's basically on an angle like that what's the best way of doing this like that that works but yeah unlike the first video this one doesn't have much to it thankfully um there's still a guy screaming that you can still hear bones being broken and at the end, it actually shows one of the guys, obviously, again, there's blood all over the floor right at the end. Um, but it also shows, at the end, a guy covering the mouth of the dude who is unfortunately getting this treatment. So, why does this happen? Well, according to a live leak description about two years ago, on the bottom of this video, it said that these prisoners were treated like this uh, because, very simply put, they were taking up too much space in a prison room or a prison dorm in Sao Paulo, Sao, pa Sao Paulo, I can't pronounce that very well, uh, in Brazil. Now what happens is higher up inmates blame these guys for crowding the prison because these are usually just small time criminals such as petty thieves, maybe sex offenders, possibly, I don't know. Um, I can imagine them being treated like that in most, a lot of countries really. Um, now, there is a slang term for them, which I believe is pronounced raf, 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 or rafames, I'm not sure. I'll, if anybody can read that, if anybody speaks the language, um, I'd love to know how that's pronounced. But yeah, it's basically just some bad shit overall. And a lot of these prison things, like riots and all that kind of stuff, you see, are, they always seem to be from Brazilian, Venezuelan, Colombian, Mexican prisons. And obviously, these two videos aren't quite as famous as Funky Town Gore, yet they still got, they've still got a sort of superior thing of a funky town gore in which the sound is absolutely horrible whereas in in funky town let's com compare it a little bit here in funky town gore a lot of the background music and the other men speaking basically overlapped the sounds of the man being hurt and his gargling sounds 
whereas in these two videos the sounds of the men in pain is a hell of a, a hell of a lot higher than the background noise like it's primarily focused on these two men and yeah that's basically all i've got to say about them two videos um there's not much else i can say about them really apart from they're pretty bad even though nobody's getting their face flailed or anything like that it's still pretty bad now obviously i've not been able to include screenshots because there's not really anything i can screenshot on these videos much like funky time so hopefully these descriptions were enough to give you guys a bit of a mental image uh, about two things that i thought were worth talking about today so with that guys thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video bye